November 1942. After being pushed back all the way to Egypt, the Allies' situation is starting to improve. They have defeated the German Afrika Corps during the Second Battle of El Alamein and forced them to retreat all the way to El Agela. Shortly thereafter, Operation Torch landed British and American troops in the French North African colonies Morocco and Algeria. The Afrika Corps was now also threatened from the West. Thus began a race for the important port of Tunis and the defensible terrain in Tunisia. In the vanguard of the 1st Army racing towards Tunis, we find the 1st Battalion of the 1st Armored Regiment of the US 1st Armored Division with 54 M3A1 Stuart Light Tanks. Their orders are to reach the Chuigui Pass and to create a tank infested area in the Tyne River Valley. On the 25th of November, A Company skirmished with Italian forces that were stationed at what was later called Coxon Farm but didn't press the attack. Soon after, A Company was subjected to a ferocious air attack, but the Luftwaffe failed to knock out a single tank. In a stroke of poetic justice, C Company, that was sent on a reconnaissance mission east of the pass, came across the home airfield of the Luftwaffe force. They proceeded to advance down the runway and shot up every plane and facility they could find. Since they did not have any infantry support, they could do nothing but return to Chuigui Pass, where they spent the night. And now it is the 26th of November 1942, 9 o'clock in the morning. This is where our Chuigui Pass campaign in tank warfare Tunisia starts. So yeah, this time we will be playing a campaign in tank warfare Tunisia. Tank warfare Tunisia is basically like... Hmm, I don't know, like a standalone expansion of Gravity and Tactics Mios Front. It's the same engine, but just a different theater. You are not on the Eastern Front, you are in Northern Africa. So, let's recap really quick what happened on the 25th. Part of the Battle Group Blade, Combat Command B, 1st Armored Division, consisting of the US 1st Tank Battalion, 1st Armored Regiment, attacked the German positions in the Chuigui Pass area. Despite the stubborn resistance of the German forces and air support, the pass was captured by the forces of A Company. Tanks of C Company captured the bridge near Taburba and attacked the German airfield near Jadeda, destroying more than 20 aircraft and about 36 vehicles. After this raid, the battalion's tanks took defense in the pass. And our situation right now is that tanks of B Company took positions to the north of the pass, visible on the map here, and also the reverse slope of the ridge near a road. They refer to this road. C Company guarded the eastern part of the pass, so they are off the map here. The tank men entrenched their vehicles. Oh, didn't want to do that. So if we have a quick look at this map here, and we can see elements of Battle Group Blade are occupying this area, that's us. We have the 1st Armored Regiment Recon Detachment here. We have A Company in position here, B Company in position here. And up to the north at Coxon Farm we have enemy elements of the 19th Light Infantry Division. If we take a quick look at our battlefield we can see that uh, we have a road running through the area. From Mateur up in the north to the pass. The pass is here. We will not be actually fighting in the pass, but near the pass. The pass is running here through the mountains and off to the east. In the area we have a cluster of buildings called Coxon Farm up here in the north. And we have a few smaller farms sprinkled around the area. So, I'd say we take a quick look at how this area looks in real life today. So, we find our battlefield in Tunisia, near Tunis in the north. If we zoom in, here is the little village of Chuigui. And this here, this is the Chuigui Pass Road. And, well, this here, these are not exactly mountains, it's more like very steep and rocky hills that cannot be passed easily. So this road had a significant strategic importance actually. 
Now, our battlefield area is basically like more or less like so, 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 and so. Uh, pay attention to this road here and look at this bend in the road where it's running towards the pass. If I switch back into the game, you can see this here. The road coming out of the pass, the bend in the road, and then the road running off north. Same thing here. Road coming out of the pass, the bend, and then running up to the north. Uh, I guess Coxon Farm would be around this area here. Let's switch to satellite view. Yeah, so this cluster of buildings here should be Coxon Farm. Uh, this cluster of buildings around here, that's new, that's not present in the game. But this farm complex is, uh, I think, this one here, Gusa El Bay. Okay, so now you've seen our battlefield. Let's go to our forces and have a look at those. Now, we have mostly tanks, almost exclusively tanks. If we go to our forces list, uh, you will see that... Yeah, let's actually view this in battle groups. We have the battalion HQ um, with an M3A1 steward tanks and a few supply and repair troops. We have a few self-propelled guns, T30. Uh, those are 75mm guns, I think. However, they will not be much use against enemy tanks because they only have high explosive ammunition. Then we come to A Company, consisting of the Company Command, two stewards, first platoon, four stewards, second platoon, again, four stewards, and third platoon, two stewards. B Company, basically the same with even more stewards, and C Company, stewards, 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 and more stewards. And then we have a recon platoon with you guessed it. No, it's not another steward. <laughs> There's a light APC and uh, an AA vehicle, actually. So, you will notice we don't have any infantry. And will that be a problem in this campaign? Possibly. We will see. Now, this campaign recreates the first engagement between American and German tankers in this war. Or, well, there were some American volunteers in Egypt, but this is the first real uh, German on American engagement in the war with tanks. Now, you will notice there are a few yellow stars here. Those indicate um, historical units. If you hover over them, this is the commander of the 1st Tank Battalion, 1st Armored Regiment. He was characterized as an initiative, courteous, calm and meticulous man. He led the raid of the Blade Group at the airfield at Jadeda. He commanded the battle at the Chirigui Pass, Colonel Waters. Future son-in-law of Patton, actually. 2nd Lieutenant Waker. Self-propelled guns under the command of Lieutenant Wei Waker were the first to engage the German tanks. There's a hint for you. Major Singling was killed during the pursuit of the retreating enemy when a projectile hit the turret of his tank. First Lieutenant Dorben. During the assault of the northern part of the Churigui Pass, the Germans took defense on a farm surrounded by concrete walls. The tank crew of the second Lieutenant Freeland Dorben eliminated more than a dozen German infantrymen hiding in trenches near the farm walls on the highway. Then Dorben ordered to make a breach in the wall and the tank conducted fire at the farm area through it. The, the lieutenant corrected the fire leaning out of the tank turret. At the time of the German counterattack, Dorben's tank kept German tanks under fire from cover. When the distance to the Germans reduced to 50 meters, Dorben ordered to retreat, moving in zigzags, not allowing the enemy to aim, but his tank was hit right after he left the cover. The driver and the radio operator were killed and injured Dorben and the loader managed to get out, but only the lieutenant managed to escape. I will link down in the video description a report 
an article that was actually written by First Lieutenant Dorben after the war, describing this whole engagement that is about to happen here in this campaign. It's a very interesting read. I really encourage you to have a look at that. It's not long and it's really interesting. Company C, Major Barlow, directly commanded the tank attack on the German airfield at Jadeda. That airfield raid, by the way, can you imagine how that must have looked? A whole bunch of Stuart light tank coming across an almost undefended German airfield and just rolling down the runway, smashing everything to pieces with their tanks and machine guns. So here we have First Lieutenant Yale. The crew of the Stuart under the command of First Lieutenant Wayne Yale knocked out two self-propelled guns during the assault of Churigui Pass. And Second Lieutenant Palmas, AA half-truck crew under the command of First Sergeant Henry Surovsky was repulsing an attack of dive bombers on A Company. Not a single tank was lost as a result of the attack. Yeah, that's what happened on the 25th. So, those are our forces. And now, let's actually begin to conduct this operation. By the way, I should mention, this campaign is a very short one. Only four turns. So that's all the time that we have. And our goal of this operation is basically to hold on to our position. You can see there are two victory points in our possession. I think if we manage to hold on to both of those, we win the campaign. If we can manage to capture Coxon Farm, even better, then we have a major victory. Now, with all of that said, let's think about how we will approach this. I think... Hmm. Here we have A Company, we have Recon. I could move these guys up. And I could move A Company up. I could also move these guys up. You know what? I'll move these guys up just a little bit. I will move the Recon Company to this area. A company will move here and the headquarters element will move into the position of the recon platoon. And that will be our first turn. Let's see what happens and how the enemy reacts. Well, I'd say here they come. At noon, US observers spotted a column of the enemy armored vehicles approaching the pass from the north, but they could not tell what kind of vehicles were in the column. The Germans discovered US positions and opened fire. The crews of three self-propelled howitzers T-30, under the command of Lieutenant Ray Waker, entered the battle first. They could delay the enemy only for a short time, since they did not have armor-piercing shells. So yeah, oh, didn't want to do that. What basically happened is that the recon elements and the HQ element that were in this area spotted movement coming down this road. However, the distance was so great they could not really identify what kind of vehicles they were looking at. They thought that they were seeing some kind of recovery vehicles or something like that because they saw big vehicles with long metal objects sticking out the front, like a crane. And they were actually anticipating that they might be able to ambush an enemy, uh, an enemy supply unit on the road. Well, suddenly those vehicles with the big long metal things started firing high velocity 75mm shells at them. And yeah, that's the situation right now. Okay. Now what? We have uh, received a new unit. B Company is ready. And I think I'll move them into this area here. Will I do anything else at this moment? Actually, I think I want to keep it like this. 
could move the recon to the flank here though. But it would make them really vulnerable. I think I'll keep it just like this. We'll get C Company joining us in two turns. But for now, yeah. B Company is gonna move into this area. I expect the enemy to come down the road and we might be able to ambush them. Let's hit next turn. And this is the situation that we find ourselves in now. Okay, the enemy is indeed attacking down the road, just as I expected, and they will run into our self-propelled guns. However, they are also attacking here in the west down from the hills. That could spell some serious trouble for my recon element. I do hope that these are not enemy tanks, because if they are, then they will have a commanding position on the hills up there, and A Company will be in some serious trouble. Well, let's go to the battlefield and see what we can do here. Welcome to our battlefield. So, let me show you the uh, terrain that we are fighting on here. So this is the main road running through the area, towards the pass. And I expect the enemy to come down this road, maybe from Coxon Farm, from the farm here, or from this farm. Then I expect them, yeah, I expect them to come down this road, uh, over this little hill. This farm is standing on a little hill here. And they will try to advance in the direction of the pass over there. Now, here to basically receive anything that comes across this little hill is our little self-propelled gun company with the 75mm guns. I think I did mention earlier that these things only have high explosive ammunition and I think smoke shells. So if there are enemy tanks, uh, I wouldn't count on those things. They will not be effective at all. Then, a little bit here to the left, we have A Company. There. Their task is to advance on an enemy force and to pin them in place. At the same time, B Company, over here on the right flank, will flank the enemy force and ambush them. That's basically the plan. I will try to let the enemy advance across this hill, maybe to somewhere over here, and then I will ambush them from both sides, preferably. So, all the way over there, those are my recon troops. Uh, half track with a 50 cal, a scout half track with a 50 cal. And where is it? Hmm, where is it? Oh, it's well hidden. There it is. And one anti-air half-track. Although I do not expect to see enemy planes since a C Company smoked their airfield yesterday. But this thing is quite nice. 250 kills and a 37mm autocannon. This thing can also hurt infantry quite well. So, with all of that said, everybody is ordered to hold fire. I first want to know what I'm facing here, if there are enemy tanks in these hills. But let's just start. By the way, um, please excuse me if my voice should sound a little bit strange today. I'm still recovering from my COVID infection that I had to deal with last week. And yeah, my voice is a little bit messed up because of that. Also, I did lose my sense of smell completely, so... That sucks. That really sucks. If anybody should know something that I can do to remedy that, please don't hesitate to write it into the comments if you should have experience with that or something. Yeah. But thank you. Thank you to every one of you who has wished me well. Um, that was very nice and made me quite happy. Okay. I think at this point... There's nothing much to do but to wait. I will actually do something over here with my recon guys. I will order them out of their half-tracks. 
some of them, the gunner and the driver will obviously stay inside. But the rest of the crew will get outside, spread out a little bit. Maybe that will help me to spot something. And until something happens, until I spot something, I think I will cut the video here. I will advance the time and we'll just wait for something to happen. So, see you soon. Not much time has passed and something is most definitely happening. Tank movement. That looks to me like a Panzer III. And it's moving towards the road. Now, don't forget, our tanks... These are... Stewart tanks. Light tanks. With a 37mm gun. To be honest, this gun is complete garbage. Um, the penetration capabilities are awful. And it fires basically solid shot ammunition. Even if this gun, by some miracle, should manage to pierce the armor of an enemy tank, there's no high explosive filler in the shell. So it won't explode inside the enemy tank, it's just a solid shot. So you have to be lucky that the uh, shell actually hits something vital inside the enemy tank or that maybe spalling does some significant damage. If I want to be effective with these tanks, I need to get very close to the enemy. Very close indeed. And that will be super risky. I will see if I can pull it off and how I'll do it. But it won't be easy. Also, you should think, hey, this is a light tank. It has great mobility, right? Uh, that's wrong. This tank has very narrow tracks. And if this tank has to drive over soft soil, it sinks in very easily, which reduces mobility significantly. So, gun, awful, mobility, not good, armor, non-existent basically. I expect to have some serious losses here. Incidentally, um, this was the... Oh, where are they going? They are going towards B Company, that's not good. I didn't expect them to do that. Hey guys, that's not the plan. <laughs> uh oh. Well, we'll see what happens. In any case, um, this engagement, historically, was the first engagement or the first fight between German and American tankers and their tanks. And it showed the Americans that the Stuart light tank is completely inadequate against German tanks. I don't think I'm spoiling too much if I tell you that. Yeah, more flares are going up. The enemy is on the move. Okay, should I maybe move up recon troops? Oh! Oh oh. That's a lot of tanks. And those are Panzer Force. One, two, three, four, five Panzer Fours, two Panzer Threes so far. Seven enemy tanks on the move. Ah, uh, this is not good. Not good at all. These guys are standing by. They did apparently spot the enemy tanks. Enemy contact, yeah, I know. I'm aware. It's possible that B Company will not be flanking after all. It's very possible that B Company will get its teeth kicked in. This could be extremely bad here. I need to do something. I could try to move up these guys and get them into a firing position. And maybe draw out the enemy tanks. Let's actually do that. Uh, don't deploy smoke. Don't be buttoned. Advance. Let's see if you can get eyes on the enemy and engage.
Somehow I think it's more than five tanks up here because there are more Panzer Force coming out of the field. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven Panzer Force long barreled. Two Panzer Threes so far. Oh, this is incredibly bad. These Panzer Threes are turning around. Maybe they did spot the movement over here. Huh. Are you guys in position to fire at somebody? I don't think so. Yeah, you know what? I want this whole group to move down here on the back slope of this hill. There they should be quite safe from the enemy's fire. They should be able to drive up to the ridge and maybe take a few pot shots at the enemy tanks to draw them in before retreating back down the hill. Okay. Uh, he just launched something. Smoke. Okay. So my guess is he has definitely spotted something. Don't get stuck. I hope you're not stuck. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. Slowly advancing. Now I'm thinking about moving some scouts up into the hills. But first of all, I don't know what's up there. I'm sure there's something. And when I move across this open ground, the enemy tanks will have clear lines of fire. And at this range, the Panzer 4 F2 is incredibly dangerous, so I don't want to do that. I... Hmm. I don't know if they spotted my tanks over here. If they did, this is gonna be real bloody. I could start to move up A Company. Let's see. Don't know if the enemy is still in a position that he has eyes on these tanks. I think we can risk it. Okay. Yeah, I think I will send these tanks into this field. And we'll just see what happens, I guess. Oh, that's a lot of enemy tanks advancing. Enemy contact? Yeah, I know. Advance. You guys, I want you guys to be over here. Yeah, it looks like these things are definitely advancing on the Bravo Company. The Bravo Company has to feel pretty uncomfortable right about now. Half tricks are getting into position. They will soon be able to spot the enemy and to engage them. Maybe that will divert the enemy's attention. Actually, let's do just that. Drive up the hill, start engaging. You guys are free to fire as well. Griffith is moving, town sent. I want you to move in here as well. And of course, you are free to fire. And singling. Move to here. Fire at will. My half tricks are a little bit disorganized right now. Okay. I think I'll move them individually. 
just get them into a fire position. They need to do something because these tanks they are most definitely advancing on Bravo Company and Bravo Company will be wiped out. They won't stand up to a frontal assault. Okay, you can stay there. There's nothing that you can do against tanks. Shots fired? Question mark? No, wait, you are not a gun half trick. You are. Okay, gun half tricks move up. Gun half trick is engaging the enemy with smoke. Okay. They're smoking themselves off. Yeah, they are engaging. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, Bravo Company... Oh yes, here we go. Okay, Bravo Company. Free fire. Go get him. Now, I did tell you I need to get close, but... Not too close. Let's pause this for a moment and try to organize ourselves. Okay, these tanks will get line of sight on the enemy. That's not a problem. They already have line of sight. Yeah, okay. Let's just engage as much as we can. And I need the tanks of A Company pronto. Let's see. Griffiths, you guys. I want you to swing around the farm and get into the enemy's rear. That's your mission. Uh, fast move. Stay in a line formation. Spread out. And just move, move, move. Then, let's see, Dorbin and his guys, they are moving. However, they are not moving fast enough. And they are dispersed. I need them up here to engage the enemy's flank. Townsend, you basically fast move to there. Singling, fast move behind the farm. Dorbin, I don't know what, fast move. It's important that we go get these guys, otherwise Bravo Company will be wiped out. Now the range... It's short range now, so we have a chance to penetrate the enemy tanks. We most certainly do. That looks like a lot of chaos. That looks like a lot of chaos here. And the half tricks are actually Laying down quite... Oh, I lost a tank. Oh, you were smacked full on by a 75mm shell, weren't you? Okay, you here. That's okay. Do I... Okay, there's no sense in retreating you guys. Uh, you can't retreat either. I could move you guys a little bit back to get this ridge line between you and the enemy tanks. 
my half tracks are deploying a quite nice smoke screen. That actually helps me. Um, that's not mine. I think the enemy has mortars in the hills. Let's check this out. Let's go to my recon guys. They could stage an attack on that mortar. Yes, that looks like an enemy mortar position. Okay, in that case... In that case, my recon... Mount up. And you will assault that mortar. I want you to take it out. Maybe I can use the AA truck to do that. If I bring it up here, it should have eyes on the mortar, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's exactly what I'll do. Go up there. Uh, engage this. And you are free to open up on them. But do conserve your ammunition if possible. Okay, the enemy has taken some losses. That's good, that's very good. Dorbin, where are you? Come on, I need you over here. Okay, one of your tanks, for some reason, has crossed to this other side here. Ah, well. And this is what I meant when I said earlier that the light steward tank does not have great mobility. Soft soil, not good for this tank. It sinks in due to the narrow tracks. Damn. This is a ferocious battle. Oh, an enemy tank just detonated. Okay, we can fight them at close range. Oh yeah, they have taken some losses, wow. Our weight of fire is telling here, yeah, we have more tanks. Quantity is a quality of its own. Yeah, the enemy is offering up a ceasefire. Which I might take after concluding this engagement. We'll see about that though. I think I want to move this group into the attack now. Open up in a line formation. And... Go get him. Contacts in the hills. I hope there are not more enemy tanks over there. But I think... I think I've heard the enemy tank force considerably here. Without taking too many losses myself. Which surprises me to no end. Dorbin, are you slowly getting into position? Uh, not really, but Griffith will be here to get in behind the enemy. And to catch any survivors that are running away. Oh, this tank doesn't know what to do. Yeah, they are shattered. The enemy tank force is completely shattered. Oh my god. That is... A quick victory. Oh, something's happening in the hills. My AA truck is engaging. Okay, you guys, free to open up. Uh, please... Do an attack move here, support with your 50 cals. Oh, I lost one guy on the AA truck. But yeah, they are returning fire. I honestly think it was the smoke provided by the half-tracks 
that completely disoriented the German tankers, broke up their sidelines and caused so much confusion that my tank could engage them effectively. Incredible. It seems that I only lost two tanks. We've taken the farm. Oh, we lost a half track here. I don't know to what. Possibly to a tank. Ah, the enemy is still dangerous. Okay, Griffith is getting into position here. Let's set these guys up into decent positions so that they can engage the enemy. Uh, you come to here. Somebody bogged down. Uh-huh, my AA half-track has bogged down apparently. Uh, try to reverse, see if you can get moving again. Yes, you can. Yeah, okay, you're not bogged down anymore. Alright, back to my tanks. I want you up here. I want you here across the road. And same for you basically, go over there. Now, Dorben, you are just going to attack this way. Town sent. I want you up here, and you are a steward not far off. Here. Singling. Uh, you will move to here and guard our flank. B Company will now initiate a sweep of the area. Let's see. Best full. Oh, they lost. They lost their leader. Yeah, the whole crew is dead. Okay. Well, that's to be expected when you go up against Panzers. Um, line formation. Yes, please. Sweep the area. You guys, same thing. Sweep. Same with you. Sweep. You're holding position for now until the others get a little bit closer, then you will continue your sweep this way. How is the situation up in the hills? Let's go back to this flank. Okay, my 50 kills. Okay, 50 kills need to move up and engage. The enemy has a machine gun that is engaging my AA half trick. Can't have that. Oh yeah, definitely can't have that. I can see that you're wounded. Get out of there. Don't just sit there and take the fire. Okay, didn't want you guys out of the vehicles. Please mount up again. sweep this way. Okay. Now we have a nice sweep of the area going for us. 
Hopefully that will allow us to catch the last enemies. Okay, machine gun is engaging up here. I hope my 50 kills can do something in return. Yeah, 50 kill is engaging. Okay, the enemy has actually multiple machine guns. There's another one up there. In that case, AA, try to move up so that you can engage again. Okay, 50 kill. We are actually losing. Oh, we are losing our gunners. All right, never mind. Reverse out of there. The enemy machine guns have proven to be superior here. Let's see if this AA piece can do something. I'm not too hopeful though. Yeah, it looks like there are at least three machine guns set up. MG42s by the sound of it. Unit lost. Okay, I lost one of the scouts. No, reverse. Get out of here. Just get out of here. You have to get out of here. Okay, can you engage them? Are you still able to do that? Uh, the question is, can you see them? I'll leave you here for a moment. Please don't get killed. And you... Uh, first of all, you need to mount up. And then you just need to get the hell out of there. Uh, mount up and... Go fast. Just get out. What about you? You are retreating, I can't give you orders. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you guys continue your sweep towards this farm. Continue sweeping. And continue sweeping. You guys continue the sweep. I want to capture that farm building. My anti-air is not engaging the enemy machine guns. I have no idea why that is. Maybe they just can't see them properly. Although they should be able to see that thing. Ah, uh, you know what? Don't be cautious with your ammunition. Maybe it's that. Come on. Need more command points. Rifle fire from over here. So I guess I have enemy infantry in the area. Okay, you are driving as fast as you can. And you are just sitting here for the moment. 
I don't know what's going on with you. Probably can't see the machine guns. Well, in that case... In that case, just get out of there. No sense in sitting there and being a target for somebody. Okay. I could try to move my half-tricks over there. Their high explosive shells can be quite useful against these enemies. So that's exactly what I'll do. Uh, you guys get into a nice column formation and just move fast to there. You are done up here. Uh, we are still finding enemy tank men apparently and engaging them. Nice. Oh yeah. There is some. So the sweep is successful. Who are you? Dorben. Yeah, okay. I want you on the road advancing onto that compound. With it, stay there for the moment. Well, actually, uh, sweep towards yeah, sweep towards this area, just to make sure that there's no enemy infantry in these fields. Let's make sure of that. Town sent. I want you guys in a defensive position up on this hill. One of you here, the other one here. That's a good position. Damn, look at this. This is nice looking. Yeah, this is very nice. The enemy soldiers have no chance. Oh, there's one. <laughs> he can't aim low enough. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Wait, let me help you. Put it in reverse. <laughs> Make him run. Now get him. Oh, 
I think he still can't aim low enough. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to hit the enemy. They will get him eventually though. Now. Uh, I should have guys advancing down the road. Yes, Dorbin is advancing down the road. As planned. My half tracks are starting to deploy to the left flank. The covering force is in position. So yeah, I think advancing onto Coxon Farm would be too early. The enemy must have more forces available. So that is for another battle, I think. But I think that in this battle here, that we have knocked out the main enemy tank force. We have managed to do that. And with these losses, I don't think the enemy will be able to oppose our tank force. Oh yeah, look at that. There are definitely more enemies at Coxon Farm. Enemy infantry. Yeah, I'm not driving in there right now. I need to reorganize, I need to bring in more troops, rearm, and then in the next battle we will engage that area. Engaging now could be costly, and I don't want that. Okay. How about capturing the farm? These guys are driving down the roads. Do I have to send the force directly into it? Well, let's do it then. Yeah, the half tracks are only now arriving on the left flank. What's going on? Who is. Oh boy. Okay, enemy infantry close to my half tracks here. Now the 50 kill will be able to suppress them, but that's still very bad. We have taken the key point. I think I will now take the ceasefire. Because I don't want these guys to get killed off by enemy infantry. Yeah, we're accepting the ceasefire. Ah, look at this. That is awesome. Nice. And there we go. That's the battle. Now, losses. Casualties. 11 casualties on my side, 47 on the enemy's side. So, that's pretty good. Let's take a look at our tanks. Okay, first of all, I want to know what killed this half trick. Uh, apparently, a Panzer IV took a shot at it. That did actually kill the commander and wound the loader. But a Panzer III seems to have finished it off. A shot into the engine set the vehicle on fire. Who did it? You did it. I will come back to you later. First of all, let's look at my other vehicles. Is everybody alright? Who else took any hits? What about Singling? Are you okay? You are okay, you took no hits. Dorbin looks fine. Griffith looks fine. So A company is okay. B company on the other hand maybe not so much. He Holibus here 
he received a hit somewhere. There. What was it? Um, okay, just a bullet. What about you? You received a hit into the tracks down there, but I think it was also just a bullet. So everything's fine. You guys. Nothing. You received hits. Second Lieutenant Luce. Oh, wow. You are incredibly lucky. He received two hits. One from a 7.5 cm Panzergranate 40. Panzergrenade 40. Um, this is high velocity round. Fired at 266.7 meters. I'm very surprised that this actually did not penetrate. Apparently, the shell impacted at such a shallow angle on the armor that it got stuck. And here we have a partial penetration that did not do any further damage from a 5cm Panzergranate 39. Uh, this Stuart is fine. Fine. Oh, this one actually killed a tank. Nice. Here, yeah, this one received a hit. Staff Sergeant Felden. Just a bullet. He's okay. But here we have the steward that we lost. Let's see how did this happen. Oh yeah, a Panzer IV happened. Fired a 7.5 cm Panzergranate 39 straight into the front at 332 meters. Penetrated. The whole crew was killed in the explosion. The engine was destroyed, blew up. Fire was set to the vehicle. Oh, poor guys. Everybody else seems to be fine. It's incredible. Yeah, the scout cars, of course. Um, they got hit a lot with bullets. The machine guns worked them over. The abandoned one. Yeah. Very effective machine gun fire, gotta say. Very effective indeed. Look at that. Okay, let's take a look at the enemy tanks. What did they have? What happened to them? Panzer IV. Abandoned. Why? Oh, that's why. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So at 380 meters roundabout, many shells did actually manage to penetrate. Uh, two, two shells managed to penetrate here. One wounded the gunner and killed the commander. And the second shell finished off the gunner, finished off the loader and damaged the radio. My guess is that the rest of the crew then decided to get out. Another shell also damaged the ammunition. Here we have a Panzer IV that is on fire. Same thing, a lot of shell penetrations from the side. Yeah, a lot of penetrations here. Here's a penetration that killed the machine gunner, damaged the radio and the turret. This is the shell that started the fire. Must have hit something flammable. Uh, the ammunition was damaged by an earlier shell, which also wounded the driver. Yeah, that was it. Then, oh, more Panzer Force. They had a lot of Panzer Force. This one took a few shots into the side. This one down here started the fire. But yeah, the gunner was killed, the loader was wounded. The commander was actually killed by a shell into the commander's cupola. And I guess the rest of the crew decided to get out. At this short range of only 200... 60 meters round about. Well, even the 37 millimeter guns can penetrate. Especially when they can shoot at the side of the enemy vehicle. So that's quite nice. I actually cannot identify what killed this tank. Not sure. 
Panzer IV here. He is abandoned. My guess is that he also received a few nice hits that I can't see at the moment. Or the morale was just so broken at that point that the crew decided to get out. Maybe the track, yeah, the track is broken. Maybe that's what made them bail. Another Panzer IV burned. Uh, this one actually was penetrated from the front, which is incredible. At 350 meters, yeah, that can apparently be done, being done by the 37 millimeter gun. The driver was killed. Sides were damaged. And this shell started the fire. Well, still a lot of bounces, but also quite a few penetrations. Here, same story. At 340 meters, Shell managed to penetrate inside, wounding the driver and the gunner. The tracks were broken, the loader was wounded, the machine gunner was wounded by a shell that penetrated down there. Well, it did not penetrate the spalling inside the tank, wounded the guys. The ammunition was damaged, and a shell down here into the side penetrated and wounded the gunner and the commander, damaged the radio. Yeah, nicely done. Panzer 3. Um, okay, shots into the side. Here, right next to the driver. Killed the driver immediately. Killed the gunner. Wounded the commander. Killed the loader and the machine gunner. Commander was wounded by another shell as well. So I guess he decided to get out. Doesn't look like he got very far though. Wow. And the last Panzer three, yeah, also caught from the side, killed the driver. This shell penetrated inside, actually killed the gunner and the commander, wounded the loader, damaged the gun, the turret. Wow. So, to my surprise, the the little tanks with their 37mm guns actually did quite a lot of damage to the enemy tanks. But, I still think we only managed to achieve this victory because the enemy tanks got quite close to us and they were completely disoriented by the half tracks shooting smoke into this whole mess. They could not concentrate their fire on any single light tank, while the light tanks apparently did manage to concentrate their fire quite effectively. And with all that said, let's go back to the operation, I think. Yeah. And here we are. Now, this turn brings us another battle. Um, with a fresh enemy unit and it's only my battered recon unit that stands in their way somehow I think I'll lose this one I'm pretty sure I will lose this one but that will be something for next episode for today thank you very much for watching I hope you're enjoying the new campaign so far and well it's a nice change of th change of th Oh my god, I can't speak anymore. My throat. It's a nice change of scenery. We are in Africa, not on the Eastern Front. We are fighting as Americans. It's a nice change. So, until next week, have some really great days and goodbye.